another coffee as an afternoon pick-me-up. And I've got some blueberries and milk chocolate. In one of the previous vlogs, I actually asked you guys if you were interested in Wumi behind the scenes. So more of like florist things. And a lot of you said, yes, this is really interesting. So I thought I would share more with you. Little things that I can share. So this week is a little busy and I wanted to take today off because today is pretty chill. But I have quite a few emails to get back to and some of them are from the brides and when it's like bridal things it's a lot because you have to plan everything so you're renting the furniture so the tables the chairs for the wedding textile you need to choose the color the texture of the textile where the drinks the snacks uh, what kind of candles like a lot of information so i need to get back to the brides by the way i mentioned that i'm working with simona samoyoskaite one of my favorite jewelers this is one of her bracelets it's a silver dot bracelet and you guys know i wear the forever bracelet all the time so this is a silver one with like a little dot but it has a clasp um yeah, I said that I could talk about my favorite jewelry. I'm not going to talk in this video. Um, it needs to be another vlog because I haven't prepared. But I have quite a few of her rings. Because I was shooting content over the weekend with them. But look how beautiful they are. I have both of these. So the, this is like her signature design. It's like... Um, like a wave so this is the ring i'm talking about so it comes in gold in white gold and in gold with diamonds which is my favorite one it's so pretty um if you're getting married and you need a wedding band like this one in gold with diamonds is the most special ring so highly recommend and i have this one for my pinky but I'm not wearing it anymore because I wear my custom-made gold and diamond little pinky ring that I designed. Um, yeah, I kind of want to switch to gold, but I love mixing gold and silver. So this is my current ring situation. Yeah, check her out. She has really beautiful pieces. I love these skinny ones that you can stack onto each other. That. How pretty is that? I want to share with you guys, I have new Lindex clothing bits for spring. I'm actually wearing a full-on Lindex outfit today. And this sweater, I haven't taken it off ever since I got it. I believe it's 100% cotton. It's very 90s. Um, reminds me of when Harry met Sally. The sweater that Harry wore. Um, so good. And then I'm also wearing Lindex blue jeans. All right, guys, let me show you the Lindex new items for spring, as I said. Um, so this is the outfit. Can you see here? The sweater is my absolute love. So gorgeous, so simple. And um, they have some of these rose accessories because right now denim on denim is trending at Lindex so they have this denim rose that you can just like wrap on your neck as a little accessory which I think is very cute I love sunglasses in this shape and I love brown so these were meant to be um, I have a very very similar vintage Hair that I bought in London last year and these are so similar they're absolutely beautiful so for a denim on denim look I got this beautiful beautiful jacket I'm absolutely obsessed with it it's like indigo blue denim it's got this beautiful stitching look at the back it's so beautiful however I'm not sure if it goes well with these jeans i don't know i'm trying to convince myself that it works so this would probably look amazing with 
um, black or cream jeans. I actually love this indigo denim. Look at this jacket, such a good shape. I love this silhouette. Yeah, this jacket is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. But as I said, I'm just not sure if these two blue colors work. Okay, next is this cardigan from a uh, holy and white line from Lindex. Um, I haven't tried this cardigan on, but let's do that. I'm gonna keep the white t-shirt on and put everything over it because as I said, I love this look at the moment. To me, it's as if you're not trying too hard, you just grabbed something in your closet and put it on and it's not too done up. So I like the t-shirt under, um, but yeah, it's like very, Chanel like almost and I feel like a cardigan like this looks really good with jeans like these because this cardigan is so classic and sort of reserved so I like to break it down with like a t-shirt and baggy jeans and then I would probably wear it with like ballerinas but yeah this is nice okay then we have this absolutely stunning top which actually got <laughs> really wrinkled in the back but you know it's like texture like this so i think it doesn't really matter that it's wrinkled this is the back and this is the front it's got these little ties again over the same white t-shirt it looks so beautiful this is this is very me i have this lindex tube top in cream as well where you can wear this and then um a shirt like this on top but t-shirt under again gives it that casual sort of danish feel to me i love the style in copenhagen like the girls there mix items that don't seem to work together but they do so love the um, skirt over jeans or like t-shirts under like dressy tops um, mixing and matching new and super old and vintage pieces it's just mwah. so I feel like this is very scandy and if you didn't know Lindex is a Swedish brand um, but yeah this is probably my favorite look um, I love the cable knit jumper with the jeans and t-shirt and this this is so gorgeous. I cannot wait for it to be warm enough to wear this outside like on its own. No jacket on top. This is so me. I feel so comfy and myself in this outfit. Then something completely different to this top. This is more of a sexy little number. It's a brown top that's very sheer and I love the texture. Look at the sleeves. It's beautiful, beautiful. And it doesn't have any buttons, but like little hooks, which is nice. I haven't thought of how I would style this one yet. Maybe with a tube top um, under. The last item, which is this peachy pink shirt. I got it basically for this color. Just wanted to show the shirt with the tube top under. It looks very cute as well. Okay, this is the brown top. I think I would probably wear just a black lace bra underneath instead. That would look better in my opinion, but yeah, this is the top peach pink shirt. And as I said, I love it for the color. You can tuck it in and wear it like this. I really like the sleeves. It does need some steaming, but it's nice for for the spring. I'm off to a garden center. It's cold outside. This is our dinner tonight. We made a very spontaneous feast. I was like, let's have some tacos. So we have tortillas there. This is Greek yogurt spread or dip. And I wanted to make chimichurri, beef, gherkins, salsa tomatoes, slime, all the goodies, and uh, Raga's also roasted some cauliflower, so we're definitely having a feast tonight. Hi, it's another day and 
it's super sunny today as you can see which is amazing our house is filled with sunshine and flowers which is my two favorite things so um, i'm gonna bend down um i have a big floral order for a hundred year old grandmother it's her granddaughter who ordered an umi bouquet of 40 stems so i'm gonna do that on camera with you guys and um, first of all i want to show you how to condition flowers this is turning into a very floral vlog but maybe that will be interesting um, and something new that you guys could learn so i went to the flower market in the morning to pick up my uh, florist order all the way from holland so the flowers are nice and fresh and um, you have to condition them so i already made one arrangement this morning and uh, the flowers have been in the vases for like over an hour or a little bit longer so when you first get flowers it doesn't matter where you get them from a market a wholesale supermarket what you want to do is remove the leaves so i'm gonna demonstrate that with those thomas because i haven't properly conditioned them yet so because I want to show you guys. You want to remove the leaves because what have I mean, unless you like the leafy look, but I personally love the flowers for their blooms, not very often for the leaves. When you put them in the water, the leaves get the water first before it reaches the blooms. So you want to remove the leaves um, in order for the flowers to drink up properly um, and stay fresh longer. And if you leave any leaves at the bottom of the stem, it will start rotting in the water, creating bacteria, so your flowers will die a lot quicker. So then what you want to do is cut the, cut the stem diagonally. So what it does, it opens up more surface area for the flower to drink water. So now, lump it in the water and let it rest for a little while before you arrange the flowers. Um, so I'm gonna do that with all of my Eustamas. These are like curly ones. I think they're so delicate and beautiful. I don't want any of that greenery getting in the way. Don't cut them too short because when you are going to arrange the flowers, then you can decide on the length that you want. But the first cut, don't make it too, too short. Some cut flowers come like this, so this is sweet peas. Incredibly beautiful white sweet peas. I love them so much, they're my favorite flower. These are extra long ones, I haven't seen sweet peas this long. They usually do not come with leaves because um, they're like peas, you know, they have like these um, long tentacles. So I'm just gonna let them rest. Um, with tulips, I removed all of the leaves, but with tulips, I like to leave at least one or two. However, this time I decided to take them all off because these, these are pretty striking tulips. They're very interesting. They're almost like bluey on the outside, but then completely um, pale on the inside, which is so interesting. These are called Didi. And then Kala Lilies don't have any leaves um now these believe it or not these are carnations and they're so fun they're like very fluffy um so yeah they look like this not very impressive at all so just remove all of them but be pretty gentle um because you don't want to snap the flower and then i also got the most beautiful hellebores now on these ones, I am gonna leave the, the leaves because I think they look prettier with them. Well, these ones, the big ones, I'm gonna take off, but leave um, some of them like closer to the petal. These are stunning. And I got more of those. I've actually never seen these sort of curly hellebores and they're dotted, like they're so stunning. Oh, another thing, always, always make sure that your vases are super clean, like squeaky clean 
and your water is always fresh because you don't want that bacteria and this also prolongs the lifespan of a flower. It is said that your buckets or vases need to be as clean so that you would be able to drink water out of them. So let me make that right. I also wanted to show you these ranunculus. They're so special and so beautiful. It's like they've been dipped in pink dye, right? I almost forgot I ordered these a massive box of orchids. Um, the girl who ordered the bouquet for her grandmother, she asked for these specific uh, pink orchids that I had last time and the dark color lilies. She wanted that combination. So when you order orchids um, from Holland, you get them like this in a box. What you want to do, they're like individually wrapped, so what you want to do is remove the plastic, the flower, and then they each come in a tube like this. So you just pull it out, it's filled with water, so um, the flower can stay fresh for longer. But I usually remove these and keep them um, for extra projects and jobs. Adorian just sleeping in the sunshine. I cannot deal these flowers. Like I wish I received an arrangement like this. These are like all of my favorite flowers in one. Like honestly, when I make arrangements, I pour my heart into them. I pick and choose flowers that are the most beautiful to me personally. Like these hellebores and sweet peas and color lilies. Like, look at the color. And I do love pink flowers, not gonna lie, as you can tell. There's just something about blush pink flowers, and especially the mix of pink and dark flowers. It's like one of my favorites. So, this is it. I'm gonna wrap it. I hope the grandmother will be happy.
So I was working on Umi, took pictures and made videos um, with the flowers for social media. Now I need to tidy up the kitchen and the living room. And uh, I think I'm going to do a time lapse. And I got really hungry, but the tortillas we made yesterday were so incredibly good. So we have some leftovers and I think I'll have one. This evening we're going to Rocco's sister's. She needs to have a photo shoot with wine because she's a graphic designer. So she made um, labels for wine um, and she wants to take pictures in action. You know, she wants to have us all at the table drinking and snacking and she'll shoot some photos um, in the process. Thank <laughs> you. 